All right, Cellier and Bellet 10 millimeter versus 410. You're probably already asking, what sense does that make? And the reason why is I typically like to use same brands of ammo when I test stuff. So we have our SMB 410, two and a half inch, and it is three three pellets of double out buck. Our rate of velocity is 12. 47 feet per second, which is probably from a long barrel shotgun. And our total pay, payout weight is 210 grains. Now, when I test against um, 410, you know, because it's 410, it's basically 40 caliber. I try to, to get something that is around 40 caliber to test against. And I couldn't get this in 40, but I could get it in 10 millimeter. And why am I using this? It is because it's a very low a very low powered load it is rated at 1165 feet per second or 544 foot pounds actually got more power than that with some 40 loads so overall this should give us a good idea of what a you know roughly a 40 caliber bullet will do against roughly you know a 40 caliber shot even though these buck shots are 36 caliber inside but you know my methodology you can kind of understand what i'm trying to do here so we'll see what we get with this and i've heard that this is absolutely bad after i purchased this i heard it was awful people were saying this is something you don't want to use in this gun so we'll find out um so we're going to go through the chronograph see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time and then we're going to do our 10 percent clear ballistic test which contains four layers of them followed by three inches of clear ballistics to represent hitting our pectoral muscle followed by a quarter inch mdf to represent hitting like ribs of sternum into more clear ballistics we'll do a shot with this and without this to see the difference between a chest shot and a gut shot and then as always we're going to shoot from that 25 yards uh, i'm not going to get closer today because my last test i did knocked the bolt free from my silhouette and there's not any play in that thing so i'm not going to get up close so it might not be very interesting for that 410 unless it patterns well but uh let's get started with this test all right, I'm about uh, four yards from the chronograph, five yards from the target. First up, we have our 10 millimeter, rated at only 1165 feet per second. So let's see what we get out of my 5.3 inch Glock 41. See how close I can get to 1165. 10.99. 95. 11.04. 11.03. Remember, this is a conversion, so that's not surprising. 11.22, so that's quite the 10 millimeter there, <laughs> like I was thinking. Um, let's see how our 410 does. All right, 410, I'm not sure if we're going to get a reading. I lowered that chronograph down really low, um, just out of concerns here. And I'm going to aim probably two inches high. So let's see what we get with this 410. Wow, almost no felt recoil. I was thinking there'd be more. Uh, 740. 727. What the heck happened there? Yeah, sticking out a little bit. 772. 695. 581. All right, so looks like I have one more. It looks like I skipped one a little bit with that bounce back, whatever. 743. So one that was really low, but overall our pattern actually isn't that bad. Now the complaints online that I saw about this was that these get so stuck they can't be ejected. Guess I'm not seeing that. So this is one of those times you gotta test your own ammo and don't listen to what people say on reviews all the time. So let's hit our ballistic gel block and see what we get with these different uh, cartridges. All right, first up we have our 10 millimeter heart. 10 millimeter. <laughs> we'll go through our MDF and we'll see how this does. Wow, oh, big old expansion in that fiber board. Here's what I mean by big old expansion. So it's expanding in that first three inches. And what we're looking at here through our MDF, so I actually have a damage path of about 13 and a half, which would typically be maybe 15 and a half without that MDF. So overall, that's not looking too awfully bad. 
Let's try it without it for our quote unquote gut shot. See what we get. All right, no MDF for our gut shot. Let's see how this does. All right, we got expansion. Total damage path is about 14 and a half. So I'm gonna say this before I forget it. People are gonna be like, what's the point of a, of a 10 millimeter round like that? It's not even 10 millimeter. And I think the answer would be, some people do carry Galat 29s, little uh, compact or subcompact 10 millimeter pistols. And if this were to perform that well in, in a gun like that, this would be the perfect carry round where you have a, a you bought a 10 millimeter for bear protection or something, but you also carry it for concealed carry. So that might be a good purpose for something like this. So let's try our 410 and see how that does. All right, 410 shot shot through our MDF. I'm going to get a little bit closer than I was uh, with that 10 millimeter. So let's see how this does. I see a spread pattern, um, a good two and a half inches apart. <laughs> we got almost no penetration as to be expected. We don't even have the, the balls flattening out, but our damage path is about seven and a half, six and a half, five and a half. But it spread out nicely. So we'll try it without the MDF and see how that does. All right, so I flipped that gel block around just to kind of get a fresh view of this. Uh, so see how it does like this. All right, so what we're looking at there is about 10 and three quarters, nine and nine. So a little bit under penetrating and we have quite the spread at pretty close range. Um, but overall, so far, it doesn't seem like bad ammo. Yeah, these eject just fine. The only thing I'm seeing here is it seemed like when I went to cock it, it would stop, like it's getting kind of hung off. And I haven't tried it double action yet, so. I'm gonna try double action at our 25 yards and just see what the issue is with that. All right, 25 yards with our 10 millimeter here. Let's see how this will do. Yep, I pulled that shot. I'm yeah, starting to get some serious reliability in this conversion issues here. Come clear. But don't take this. <laughs> For anything important in a conversion, it's gonna do this. And I got my 22 pound spring in here, which is a bit much for this low end ammo. All right, overall, not too bad. Let's try our 410. I'd love to get closer with this, but uh, I just wanna keep myself safe from ricochets without having the thing swinging. Yeah. So I'm going to try some double action here and see if this stuff's reliable, at least double action. See if I can come anywhere close to that target. Oh yeah, it hung up real bad. And that caused me to pull that shot. Hang up again. I think it probably skipped around when it hung up. No, that was a light strike. So at this point, some of these are not wanting to go back in after they've been shot. So I think it's the fifth round on here is the one that didn't go off. Oh, I finally had one pellet hit. <laughs> So overall, what I'm saying with, seeing with this ammo is it's 
it's not going to be bad for plinking around. I definitely would not use it for serious defense. Mostly because of that issue with it getting hung up. So, not the best round for this. However, like I said, planking, it's fine. And I guess if you got one to go off at close range, it looked like we got about 11 inches penetration in the plain gel, which is, eh, it's close. Close to be able to work. Not 10 millimeter. That seemed like a great load. Like I was saying, you want you might want to use it for like a Glock 29 or something like that. Or if you just, in general, want a, a load that's more manageable and more of a personal defense round where you're not going to have massive flash and over power and over penetration and everything so and it's also pretty good for plinking because it wasn't very expensive but the hollow points seem to work so overall what we're learning from this is you really should test your own ammo in some regard not everybody's going to be able to uh you know gel test but if somebody says the ammo sticks and you can't inject it yeah you need to find out that for yourself so that's what you get today so as always comment share and like and thanks for watching